Hello and welcome to this quick teeny tiny little review, as it were, of the Pandaren starting zone that I've just done in the beta. The Pandaren starting zone, of course, being on the back of Shenzin Su, the giant turtle. No idea how he got that big, that was never really explained. He's just a big old turtle swimming around, and we are nomadic pandas living on his back, which is just the way it gets to be. So from a gameplay a gameplay perspective, let's look at that. The quests were remarkably simplistic actually. We got in like little handful portions, we got kill X things, pick up X things, and then that kept going, and they were occasionally punctuated with fights that were kind of interesting but not actually difficult in any way. And I think Blizzard could do with umping those fights up a bit, given that a panda is very likely to not be your very first character, given just how many expansions you're going to buy until you can have a panda. It's a lot. Um, admittedly, I only got to level 12, but the monk class felt fairly decent and fluid. Um, it wasn't. Re it ha doesn't really feel like it's filling a missing gap, but it's not fudging things up either, so more choice is always good. I'm wondering if anything other than jab will use energy slash generate chi, or if we just have to keep, if jab is our like bread and butter ability, you'll never know. Uh, the new specialization uh, system contains absolutely zero customization, which is a shame, but then the talent system has had less and less choice ever since WoW's conception, so it just being completely taken away was kind of inevitable. It'll be excusable if Blizzard can now create very balanced boss fights for raids and stuff, knowing exactly how all of their classes are going to be operating in a raid environment, with no worries about what if someone has this talent, what if someone has that talent. So, I'll be interesting to see what the raiding scene is like in Pandaria. I'm not expecting particularly balanced heroic fights, because I think the heroics that have already been slated in Mr. Pandaria to just be really easy to do, so we won't see much balance either way, we'll just be smacking bosses about, but fine, whatever, that's the way things are going, and pff, who likes wiping every day anyway? Um, as for the story itself, uh, I quite liked it, it was pretty charming, you know, the whole pandaren's on the back of the turtle, but it did feel very monkish. I kind of feel if you're like a pandaren mage or a priest or anyone who's not a non-physical attacker, it'll all feel very out of place with the punching bags, the sparring, the the hojin, the just general feel, it all seems very sort of directed towards a monk. Um, and I liked, I really loved the feel of the Pandarian land, well, that's not Pandaria, obviously, this is the turtle, sorry, but the culture, the feel, everything, it was all really nice, especially that history lesson, that was a nice way to get some lore in there, because usually Blizzard just sort of stick their lore outside and we're expected to go looking for it, but you know, we got a good handle on the way things work with the Wood of Staves, the, again, the Turtle and all the things. It felt very good and it was good at dragging you into it. But the actual Horde and Alliance thing was actually rather feeble, I felt. I mean, while we were working with the Horde and Alliance, we didn't really learn anything about them or their cultures or why we should join them. We just, you know, it was a. The Alliance and Horde caused the crash, the Alliance and Horde get rid of the crash, and we were just along for the ride. Um, didn't seem like a very compelling reason to de dedicate your panda's entire life to a single faction just because your old master says you should. If anything, the fact that the battle between the Horde and the Alliance caused the crash and then them working together solved the wound of the tur turtle is just proof that Alliance and Horde working together is better than Alliance and Horde being apart. And really, your sensei it's foolish to try and continually perpetuate that war. Um, works as a convenient device, of course, but I just feel like we could do with a more compelling reason to want to be with the Alliance or with the Horde, other than just us, outside as players, having already made that decision before we start the character, which is what I, uh, what I expect about 100% of people will do. So yeah, that's all I've got to say on that I'll probably be back for more Pandaren stuff later on, but thank you for listening to my stupid ramblings, and I'll see you later.